Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable system restore protection in Windows computers, so Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. So if you want to create system restore points, that if you want to go back to an earlier point in time, if for some reason Windows is not working properly so you can restore back, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create such a restore point and this will entail actually turning on the system restore protection. In a lot of cases it's actually not automatic so we're going to go ahead and jump into it and start by opening up the start menu. Just self click on the start button one time. Type in system restore. Best match should come back with create a restore point. Go ahead and left click on that. If there are no system restore points created already, protection will say off right here. So you're going to have to go and select this configure button select turn on system protection and then I would suggest moving this little scroll bar over until you get to a decent size so generally speaking probably about 15 or so percent of your hard drive space I would dedicate to system resource protection obviously it'll depend a lot if you have a hundred gigabyte hard drive versus a one or two terabyte hard drive but I'm just going to say 15 percent for this tutorial today and we're going to select apply and OK now that you have turned on system protection, we have to go ahead and create a restore point. So where it says create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on. If you have multiple drives listed up here, it's also a good point to mention, make sure that they're all configured so the system drive should be on. You might have a backup drive as well. You might want to consider turning protection on for that drive as well. Since our local drive, the C drive is turned on, and that's the one we're concerned with in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and select create. So create a restore point. You can type in whatever you want. Honestly, you could say before Windows updates or something and then put the date in which you're making the backup. It'll give you an option to also add a description, generally speaking, too. So you can obviously elaborate a little bit more if you want to expand on what I wrote or customize it more to your liking. It's really your own preference. should say the restore point was created successfully. Select close. Now if you wanted to actually restore back to that restore point or see that it was created, you can select the system restore button right here. Select next and now you can see the restore point we just created is listed here as well as the date and time in which we made the backup. So pretty straightforward, just would select next here to continue on and restore our computer back to this point in time. So pretty straightforward process here guys, just would select finish to actually run the system restore. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial.